So we're going to be working on single replacement uh, reactions that include oxidation reduction reactions. So I'll just start off with single replacement. All right, so these are um, a little different than our double replacement reactions. Um, keep in mind that single replacement, you have A plus BC possibly forming to be AC plus B. And to, deter to determine whether or not that reaction happens, we either use the activity series or you use your peri periodic table. Okay, so let's start off with an example. I have uh, magnesium. Uh, with aluminum chloride. So just quickly, um, just a reminder to yourself, remember that magnesium has a plus two charge, aluminum has a plus three charge, and chloride has a minus one charge. So we'll write it as magnesium plus aluminum chloride with a subscript of 3 because you want to um, make certain that that equals zeros. And if you look at your activity series, magnesium is in fact uh, more reactive or sexier than aluminum. So for that reason, we will write MgCl plus Al. Okay. Keep in mind, Mg has a plus 2 charge, aluminum um, a plus uh, a chlorine a minus one charge, so we need to make sure that we put a subscript of two to make that equal zero. Now we need to balance the equation. I have one magnesium here, one here. I have two chlorines here, but three chlorines here. So in order to even that out, the common denominator is going to be six. And that works out to be that I have then, um, in that case, three magnesium, so I put a sub uh, three in front. Now I still have two aluminums here, put a two in front there, and I think we should have it work out that it's a balanced equation. All right, so the next step in all of this is um, trying to figure out what charges all of these um, elements have. So just quickly, if you take a look at magnesium, magnesium is by itself, okay? And so just to remember, magnesium would have, if you look at the periodic table, and see magnesium actually has 12 protons. And we know the number of protons equals the number of electrons, so it should have 12 electrons too. So magnesium by itself actually has a zero charge. So for that reason, we're going to put zero underneath here, okay? However, when you have something that is um, combined in an ionic compound, aluminum has in its valence shell three electrons, okay? And chlorine has in its valence shell seven electrons. And this is just looking at the periodic table, okay? What's going to happen is, is in an, uh, in an ionic compound, remember an ionic compound is when electrons either are gained or lost. So aluminum is going to lose its electron and it's going to give it to chlorine. So there is that one. This way chlorine now has eight electrons and it, it has one more than it has uh, electrons and it has protons, so it has a minus one charge. So this is more or less just a review to what we had before. We have three chlorines here, so the situation is the same with each of these chlorines. Here again, I have seven valence electrons. One of those electrons from aluminum is going to be go to chlorine because it's forming ionic bonds. So now the aluminum, we'll do one more. Seven. This aluminum will give its other electron 
to chlorine. So now aluminum no longer has any electrons. It has a positive three charge. It's given three of its negative charges, one to each chlorine. Okay, and so that's why I know that aluminum has a plus three charge and each chlorine has a minus one charge. When atoms are by themselves, they have no other element that they can give their electrons to, so they keep that zero charge. In this case, we have magnesium, which gave two of its electrons, one to each chlorine. So again, for that reason, because it's in the ionic compound, magnesium has a plus two charge, and each chlorine has a minus one charge, and the aluminum has a zero charge. So we want to actually write down what that actually looks like by something called a half reaction. And there are two types of half reactions, and I'm going to move on to the next slide. So we have the first type of half reaction called oxidation. All right, and the way that I remember oxidation is the term oil rig. So I have here oil. Oil stands for oxidation, there's the O, is losing, there's the L, electrons. What that means that oxidation becomes more positive because it's losing its electrons. So if I go back here to our original one, I'm going to try to figure one out which one of these elements is becoming more positive. So I have magnesium that starts off with a zero charge and here becomes a plus two charge. So it started off at zero, it has become more positive to being a plus two. So magnesium is the one that lost its electrons. So I'm going to write down magnesium. Remember it started as a zero charge. And the way that I remember it is sort of seeing that arrow as a hand. And it threw out two of its electrons. That's why you have the hand there. And we write electrons with a negative charge. So it threw out two electrons to make this a positive charge. So this talks about electrons. And as oil says, is oxidation is losing electrons. So whenever you lose the electrons, you put them in the product side. Okay, threw those electrons out. The other type of reaction is called a reduction half reaction. All right, and in this one, I call it rig. This one is reduction is gaining. There's the R, I, G electrons, okay? So going back to my previous slide, reduction does not have an A. I'm gonna look at which one is gaining. So I have chlorine. Chlorine has a negative one charge and it stays a negative one charge, so I don't need to deal with that one. That one hasn't gained any sort of electrons. Here I have aluminum. Aluminum looks like it's now become from a plus three charge to a zero charge. It's become more negative. So the only way to become more negative is to gain those negative electrons. So reductions usually means that it's more negative. So in that case, I'm going to write down what I have here. Aluminum has a plus three charge. And it gained electrons, so we have to add those electrons to the aluminum. It gained three electrons so that it has a zero charge, okay? So that's how you would write the half reaction on that. So, in this case, there's one other step, and that is determining your reducing agent, okay? So, in that case, it is more or less always the opposite of what you have. So, for magnesium, it has been, um, we'll just leave it at that. 
So working on half reactions. The oxidation, the oxidizing agent and reducing agent we'll deal with next class period.